<laughs> hey, guys, you made it in the call room. Hey, Fran, what have you got there? Well, I thought I'd read out an email received from Samantha and Elizabeth Stanford, who are 13 and 12 and live in South Australia. They live on a property spelt like this, and it's pronounced de croc me you. They say it means one-legged seagull. That's odd. So I asked Dan to find out what pool room meant. How'd you go? Well, apparently it's Swahili for watch these cartoons. <laughs> Seeing Sylvester makes me wonder what it would be like to have claws. So here are the claw room's top five reasons to have claws. Number five, it's easy to get rid of an itch. Number four, nobody ever asks for a massage. Number three, you'll never need a fork again. Number two, you'll stop biting your nails. And the number one reason, it is so easy to open soft drink cans. Cool room. To the celebs, but only when they deserve it. Yep, it's time for the Head Like a Drop Pie Award. And this week it goes to Aussie actor Alex Dimitriadis, who was auditioning for a part as an evil elf in Lord of the Rings. Sadly, the winds changed direction and his face got stuck that way. Alex, that's a shocker of a look, man. So you've got a head like a drop pie. The Australian Reptile Park. She always brings along fascinating animals that are hugely scary. But Mary's here today with some very special animals who are lucky to be alive. You see, the Reptile Park had a huge fire in July, so let's talk to Mary about it. Hi, Mary. Hi, Welcome to the call room. It's good to be back. Now, who have we got here? Okay, these are both survivors of the fire. It was really devastating to the park's main building. We lost over 500 reptiles and 400 oh. spiders, and it's just been really tragic. But these these guys survived. Um, the, the crocodile here was actually out with our mobile education show that goes all around Australia. Oh, good. luckily. Luckily. And so we had quite a few reptiles coming back from that. And within the park's main building, there were about seven reptiles um, which survived. And this little guy was found in the rubble three weeks later after the fire. Oh. And we've nicknamed him Stuart Diver. I hope, I hope Stuart doesn't mind, but this guy has just been an inspiration to us. Now, Mike, the crocodile's looking at my little snake. Do you think, will he eat him? Well, he'd probably just have a bite because he's moving. Oh, OK. Yeah, he'd, he'd Bite at anything. <laughs> now, how many animals did survive? There were seven. There was a, a lovely pig-nosed turtle, which is one of my favourites, and, and he survived. He was in a tank right at the end of the building, which didn't burn. And there was a, a miracle. An alligator snapping turtle was actually found wandering through the glowing cinders where everything else had just perished. So he's he's really special. Fascinating. And then in another area, there were four other geckos. And we found a yabby as, oh, as well. I found that. Fantastic. <laughs> and how's the milking program going? Is it well, it, it's continuing. We've just had eight king brown snakes come to the park and we've got quite a few uh, funnel web spiders because the park is the sole supplier for all the venom, for anti-venom in Australia. So we're assisting in saving 300 lives each year. Oh, and um, yeah, we're really anxious to get that up and running again. Um, Stuart, he is turning blue. He's got blue eyes. He is. He's just about to shed his skin. He's growing um, quite quickly. So when they're, when they're little, they keep on shedding constantly. Really? Yeah, every few weeks. And um, Alba is... Eric. 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 How's Eric? Australia's most loved crocodile. He's just about to have a birthday. He's turning 54 in the uh, in, in the school holidays. We're open. Oh, really? I You're didn't open say now? that. We're open. We are. Yeah. So we is opened the park on the ninth. Opens on the ninth. Is yeah. the park back to the way it was? It is. We've got this fantastic reptile um, display in the in the park grounds, and we're back to all the fantastic wildlife shows and the best hands-on reptile show that you could see in Australia. And um, we've got Eric's birthday at the end of the school holidays on the yeah. 2nd of October where he's turning 54 and we've got this great um, promotion where two children are admitted free of charge with each paying adult. Oh, it's kind fantastic. of like a thank you because we've just had so many Much people help. Uh, yes, the, the, the support and, and the response to the fire has just been overwhelming and it, it kind of makes us feel rather bad because we've, we've affected so many people within Australia. We've had yeah. letters from all over the place, even around the world. It's been incredible. How long will it take you now to get the animal count back up to what you have? Um, not too long. We're getting great help from zoos and private keepers all around Australia and we're about to bring some great exotic animals that have never been in Australia before. Wow. So. And if we can't get to the Reptile Park, your website? We do. We've got a website, www.reptilepark.com.au. Fantastic, Mary. Thank you for coming in. Hopefully My next pleasure. time you come in, it'll be like the old days. It will be, definitely. And you can scare me with something big and scaly. <laughs> Back soon, guys. 
Cyber Space, in fact, which is number two. But don't take my word for it, two of you will be able to check out Cyber Space yourself. Thanks to those good guys at Gateway Computers in our Chromio Gateway to the Net competition which we are about to announce. Get this, two winners are each about to win a cool Gateway Neo computer plus a six month Gateway internet subscription and other cool Gateway stuff like this mug, mouse pad and super comfy blow up couch. And all you had to do was draw a picture of Fran and me doing anything or doing nothing and the response was huge. We had such a hard time choosing the two winners but we finally made a decision and the first winner is Natalie Long from Cabramatta in New South Wales. Whoa, oh, got something in the eye. <laughs> and well, Natalie's drawing is a Fran and me on the cool room set. She has drawn almost everything on the set. Look at all those colours, pretty groovy. And our second winner is a group effort from the Glennon family from Victoria. This is a picture of us talking, taking Monster for a walk in the park. <laughs> yes, we're taking Monster for a walk in the park and it's drawn by Tim. Mary, Callum and Grace. And they've made the picture out of sand and coloured paper. What a great effort. So Natalie and the Glennon family receive a gateway computer each, but don't worry if you didn't win because we've got some great prizes for five more viewers. These five entries are highly commended. They're so good. We've decided to give them each this hot limited edition, Britney Spears two CD set featuring remixes of her hit Lucky, which is number three on the charts this week. And those five runner-ups are Nicola Dermot from New South Wales, age 14. Taylor McCourt from South Australia, age 7. Teresa McCall from Queensland, age 5. Terry Jesse from South Australia, age 14. And Lee and Kurt McFarlane, aged 11 and 8. Congratulations to all of our winners. They were great drawings, but I don't really look like that, do I? <laughs> oh gosh, I've got to get to a mirror right now. <laughs> okay, catch you guys next time. Next time.